people, 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 people. Ke pa sa sa pa se wa de do. Now, people, this part of the video is called The Sad Realities of Jamaica Happen Accord Once Again. I am speaking about a jerk chicken vendor from Brayton. When I speak about Brayton, that is in Portmore. His name is Jerky. He is from Brayton Phase 3. So therefore, he hustles close to where is, he lives. His business and house is in the same vicinity. Now, people, based on the information, it is said that Jerky, 37-year-old Mr. Davis, I think his last name is, he was by his establishment when some people roll up. He was caught off guard. He was caught surprised. Then blaze him up in the establishment. Now, people, I have at least three or four videos of that incident. But this is what is happening on YouTube. YouTube is changing for the worse for persons like myself that talk about news. Whenever I put up any sorts of video with any sorts of Jamaican accent, especially when there's any sorts of aggression, when there's any sorts of persons losing their life, any sorts of loud Jamaican dialect, more than likely it is not going to get monetized. More than likely it is going to get blocked. More than likely it is going to get uh, less promotion on YouTube. So therefore, I am not even going to show that video or those videos. However, I am going to put them in my WhatsApp group. Whoever is in my WhatsApp group, they will get them an hour or so after I release the video. However, if you want that video, you can WhatsApp me, text, text only. 1-876-894-2711. Give your name and also say you want the jerky video and you want to join my WhatsApp group. It is very important that I put you in the group so therefore you will get the videos that I cannot show on YouTube automatically. Back to the story at hand. Now people, based on information, it is said that the popo they are investigating and they have zero motive, like most cases in Jamaica, unless the popo catch the culprit them, meaning the suspect, meaning the assailants on the spot, and them get away after 20 minutes, basically, case dash rate. Case is no longer good. Based on the residents, it is said that this man has been at this spot for several years. This man is not a warmonger. This man does not have anybody that is in any sorts of criminal activity, gang activity, meaning family, no sorts of Quaker syndrome linked to his name, linked to his family tree. So then people are say, people are wonder what could have led to this man losing his life. A man that is just a businessman, a man that gets along with everybody, a man who has made his name on the spot as it pertains to jerk chicken. Now people, them say B L A C K people love chicken. Jamaican people love jerk chicken. That is a fact. That is definite fact. You can Google that. You can ask anybody who come from Jamaica. Everybody have them favorite jerk chicken man. Well, not them favorite jerk chicken man. Their favorite person at jerk chicken, if you know exactly what I am speaking about. So me just I say, when we listen to stuff like this, and we see the way that Jamaica is, and we see the tendencies of Jamaican. There is one logical conclusion that come to mind, or not one, a couple of conclusions that we can draw from this. This is either from some sort of competition. This is either from some sort of bad mind syndrome. Because, people, trust me, if there is one thing that I know or notice about our Jamaican people is that if somebody comes and them start sell June plum and them start make money, Two or three days, within a week or so, you have 10 or 20 people that sell June Plum. If somebody goes on YouTube and them son away, them start drive around, you have 10 or 20 people start do the same thing. If somebody goes on YouTube and them have sarcasm, them start make joke, them start twist up them thing and sound different than the rest, you have 10 and 20 people that want to do the same thing. And then those 10 or 20 people, them start talk bad boy you. 
them start join up, them start link up, and then you become the bad guy. People do the maths. Wise man speaks in parable. Foolish man run at his mouth. So I say this to say that, knowing how our Jamaican people are based on their record, based on the things that they exhibit, more than likely this man lost his life. Now people may just give a possible scenario because things could be deeper than it seems. However, just looking at the situation at face value, more than likely some sort of competition, more than likely some sort of bad mind thing are going on. Because people like me say, people, Jamaican people, they observe everything. Them watch people. Them watch people business. Them watch people man. Them watch people woman. So therefore, if them see this man and everybody know him, he is a hot man upon the spot. And them realize eh, 90% of the people who come upon the spot a jerk them a buy from. So therefore, we get up every day and we put up our jerk pan and we put coal and we light it. And then, not a quarter was sell. People don't realize everybody in life cannot be successful. Everybody don't have star quality. Everybody is not built the same. Them say life, life is not fair. And that is true. Because jerky might have put in the due diligence. Jerky learned from somebody that knows the art of jerking. Jerky put in the work. Jerky has charisma. Jerky has charm. Jerky has... When you, deal, when you deal with people, professionalism in the way that he's a people person. Sorry, that's the word or words that I am looking for. So therefore, he build, he build him thing from the ground up based on the type of character he has, based on the willingness to put in the work. So therefore, people come and they grudge you for just about anything. They grudge you because of the type of person that you are. They grudge you because, I'm sister, people gravitate to you. So people, I think that's as it pertains to jerky, they do not have to look too far. It is somebody more than likely. And people like me say, I am not Nostradamus. I was not there. I don't know the intricacies of his business or the jerk business in a Britain, Portmore. But me just I say, generally speaking, that is exactly what goes on when it comes to our Jamaicans. So people, condolences to the family of this man. Hopefully, the people them that took him out, hopefully, Business won't get better for them. Hopefully, they will get exactly what this they deserve. I am speaking about some time in other big places, the big yard, or even better. We are talking about Dovecat or Madden, Totag, Ice, Point Blank, and Period. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source, and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that incarcerated kingpin conspirator as it pertains to the coco. I am speaking about flipper mafia that was sentenced the other, well not the other day, a couple of years ago and people. He got what we call the snap box, meaning that... 25 pieces or more. I think it might be more. Don't quote me on this. However, me know Sam get enough, enough time. So therefore, he is going to have to do 85% of that time before he is released. There is no sorts of parole, no sorts of probation as it pertains to the feds or wherever he is at. I think the feds are the state people. Me not sure. Him have enough, enough time for that. That is the point. So anyways, people, I received a video the other day and it shows Flipper Mafia bragging that he got his GED, which is his high school diploma. The caption also said that he got a bachelor's degree. However, people, I cannot validate or verify about that because it takes the average person maybe four years in college to get that degree. So therefore, I don't know Flipper Mafia's brain power, but I doubt it very much that you are going to be incarcerated under undue stress and basically get a degree. People, me just uh, say, if he did that in four years, then he could have been on the street and working for one of those big corporations. People, me just uh, say. This one is from a fan, the flipper mother. Hear me say? Well, I'm thinking for a change. I'm focused on the victim. I'm rehabilitating. I'm trying to earn my way out. Earn my way out. I'm thinking for a change. 
focus on the victim. I'm trying to cage my rage. I gotta earn my way out. Me already get my GED. I'm a AA degree. I'm a BA degree. However, people like me say, Flipper Mafia is going to do a whole bunch of time before he is eligible for release. So therefore, it is a good thing. However, I am not sure what he's going to do with it, especially in his incarcerated situation because people it is not like he's going to get any sorts of job based on what i know people probably get a couple of cents in this penal institution per hour so therefore it is not going to help him significantly it is not going to make him a rich person however people whenever somebody does something and it is positive we have to give credit where credit is due even though that person did some bad things allegedly based on what the feds based on what the people in the states say so people, at the end of the day, we have to give Flipper Mafia credit for his efforts. The fact that he could have been in an incarcerated place in the big yard overseas in a foreign America and doing what we see the others doing, popping champagne, dip on phone, doing all sorts of antics. However, we know say, Jamaica laws, places like those, they are monitored. Places like those, they are governed. So therefore, that is why we don't see the buffoonery in which we see in Jamaica. Some people at the end of the day, Flipper Mafia get his degree, his GED, high school diploma. Even if it was a bachelor degree, that is even better. However, people, like me say, kudos to him, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that there was a very bad ACCIDENT on the toll road. Don't know where specifically I was sent this video on a couple of occasions. Based on the video, the vehicle is mangled. Based on the video, there is no way nobody could have survived this whole ordeal because people, when I said the thing basically, Everything crumple up, everything mash up. Engine, we are talking about all sorts of F I R E. We are talking about people spread out inside. The door, the back door and the side door come together. The left side and the right side come together. The back and the front come together. Based on people that was on the highway, them say, them see this blue RAV4 blazing like a mad bat out of hell. However, as them drive down the street, they saw this same RAV4 flip over the people and the occupants. I think at least one person, definitely one person. However, it could be two or more. However, people like me say, it was a mangled mess. So therefore, I don't, I cannot verify how many persons were in this vehicle. But people, it is sad. Now people, the truth and the fact is that I am sorry for the person that actually sit down in these vehicles and allow people to show off their driving skill and allow persons to take risk with their life however i am finished sorry for these people because they're not here we see this every day upon the road in excess of 370 almost 380 people end up the same way annually this year alone 2021 however these persons they have very bad discipline. Whenever they need to get somewhere, they leave late and expect to reach early. So therefore, they are always pressing pedal to the metal on people. That is never usually a good recipe for success. It usually ends up leading to failure. Epic failure as a matter of fact. So people, once again, our next family is going to be mourning. Not because this person might be any sort of criminal element, but this person more than likely was hard-headed. This person more than likely thought that this would never happen to me. I am a skillful driver. And people, like I've said in a previous video that I did about a situation like this, I went to a era and I saw a man's picture on a wall. And the picture said, R.I.P. Driver. And when I asked, same thing like this, same situation like the other 380 people for 2021. So therefore, if you get 380 reasons this year alone, 
and you don't change. What else can I say? People, it is sad. Condolences to the family, the kids, the parents, the loved one, co-workers, friends of this person. However, people, it is time them start learn because people like me always say, a hard ears make for a soft ASS, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.